Yeah, but if you notice on the map, this room seems to wrap around a central area, and we're kind of climbing around the outside of that right now. Well, the central area is, like, will look familiar when you go into it, because it's basically the same room that we were in when we took the bottom path to get the key. So now we're taking the top path, and we're going around seeing more whatevers. Because what's going to happen is you're going to come to a dead end here, right? Okay, it's not so much of a dead end anymore, but... I think normally what you would have to do is go across the, uh... You go across the middle of it to actually get to the other side. You might still have to do that, because I think there's something over there. We can't get to that side of the room any other way except to cross over. And these doors, it's really easy to walk past them without even noticing that they're there. Now see, this is the upper side of that room with the merry-go-round that doesn't work. We're up on top of it now. So... Anyway, so we gotta cross around to the other side and see where, see what wraps around this side of the room. There's probably something important here. Yeah, well, I think I might have gone this way first last time, I don't remember. Okay, here we go, here's something. <laughs> yeah, here's something, I don't know what I'm doing. You got a small key. Oh, oh, goodbye keys. I'm gonna take my red one. Those, those pots had pretty generous rupee offerings in them. Okay, so here we go. Now we gotta go back across. Pretty, you had to go across just to get a small key. So then we go back across to the other side and complete. Gee, you just jump out of nowhere. Good lord, what kind of a merry-go-round is this? You know, I've heard of kids' carnivals being creepy, but that's just ridiculous, man. Ow. Let's go fair. Hey, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Yeah, I think we'll be glad we picked up that key in a little bit here. Oh, what is this guy doing? He's so silly. He's jumping into a bubble. That's funny. I think I will target him, pull out my sword, and jump attack. Ow. I can't seem to hit him, because he's inside of a bubble. Well, I'll hit him with a bomb arrow then. <laughs> he's dead. No, he's not. I just deflated his bubble, though. Get over here. Alright, fine. You know what? Dude, he's fast! Yeah, once you start hitting him, though, he's stunned and he can't defend himself any much after that. Okay, so, locked door. Let's go inside. Now, I love these rooms right here. These are like some of my favorite rooms. Your objective in this room is to get to the middle and pull that switch. Okay, but we can't do it because the pit's too deep, right? You can't exactly jump across there. So, we have no choice but to go up. Wait a minute. Is that right? <laughs> Oops. Okay, yeah, I sound like I know what I'm talking about. Truth to tell, I really don't. So... Jeez. What's with the burps today, man? So, we gotta climb the vines. Hmm. Or is it we gotta climb the vines because they're divine? Or we just gotta vine... Because there's no other way. We can't vine any other way up, so might as well. Okay, so on the way up, you're gonna have a few small encounters, which you'll probably want to uh, be ready for and take care of. That man gave a really useful tip on this when you're fighting these tektites. Just one jump attack will take care of them, but make sure that they're on the ground when you start the jump attack. That way, you're not jumping into each other and thus just hurting yourself. So that's very useful. Alright, so around we go. Should be one more. Hello? Any other spiders? Hello? You've reached the spider line. For spider number one, press one. For spider number two, press two. For a treasure chest, kick. We got more water bombs! Look at that big mouth on that thing. God, that thing's crazy, man. Those are some pretty creatively designed bombs. So we have something in here. Looks like a treasure chest and another hookshot target there. Could we be getting the hookshot in this fortress? Just maybe? Well, there's a switch. This is not the one we were looking at a minute ago that I said we needed to pull, but we'll take it. And this unleashes a flow of water, which goes all through the temple. Now this treasure chest up here, you can come back for this when you get the uh, hookshot item that's going to get you over there, which I'm not going to spoil anything. You know it's the hookshot for crying out loud. But all it is is 50 rupees. I'm not messing with it. I'm not coming back for it. So, but just so you know, that's what it is. So, 
Now we just slide, slide down the water here. This is really fun. Just sliding down the water is fun. It makes me miss those water parks we used to go to in Georgia. I remember this one ride. It was just so cool. I remember one time I was on a ride, like where you ride down with another person, you both go at the same time. See how you don't see that switch when you climb up on the platform? You don't notice it's there. So you have to actually turn around to see it. So you might not know it's there. Anyway, this opens up so that the water actually gets out to the rest of the temple. Which can change things drastically when you get back in there. So, looking forward to that. Two exits here. We should probably take the one with the water. Because you could, you could go the other way, I guess. I don't see why you wouldn't, but... But the water going this way, you'll actually see what a difference it makes as it makes these wheels turn so you can get through these passageways. And that ultimately will be how you end up... What the hell? Okay, when you see purple chews, don't bother to scoop them up. Because they don't do squat... They, like, when you drink them, they do something random to you. And it's usually not good. Okay. I must... Uh, I guess I was supposed to go the other way. Well, that was stupid. It seems like... Holy cow, who's breaking pots in here? You can't break pots, you're a tech tie. What the hell? Okay, fine. We'll just go this way. Good lord. So I guess now the water's flowing, this thing's moving too, huh? Yeah, it is. Holy crap. Well, that's crazy. Huh. Oh, is this where you get to, like, jump? Oh, holy crap. Oh man, I thought I had the health split right now. <laughs> man, that guy takes a lot of hits. You're dead. Now, um, okay, what- oh shoot, what side of the room are we on here? Let me see if I can get over to that. Oh man, what the hell? Okay, I'm in the room. I'm somewhere. D did I just put on my iron boots? What the hell did I do? Alright. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I did there. I don't, just, I don't want to say I didn't mean to do it, because I kind of did. I was trying to land somewhere else, I think. Isn't there something you can do with these moving platforms now? Or is that not till later? Because I don't quite remember, actually, to tell you the truth. But you see the platforms moving, you figure, okay, that I'm supposed to do something with these. But I'm not entirely sure. You probably need a key. There's a gateway down there. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and check this out, even though I'm not totally sure yet. I do believe you have to go this way, though. Yeah, I know you have to go this way. What am I talking about? Uh, is it this way? I don't think so. I think it's uh, actually this way you go first. These both go to the same room, but this way goes to a key that you have to, have to progress. Wait. Strike that, reverse it. This is the locked door. And the other way leads to the key, doesn't it? Shoot. What the hell was I thinking, man? You're making this ten times more complicated than it needs to be, Tim. You seriously are. If I could have just jumped down jumped down there from up there, like I was trying to do, that would have been a lot easier, but Yeah, so here's another look at that gateway. Very cool looking area. Very ominous. Oh well, I guess the only convention center will have to do. Thank you. For what? You were so effing pathetic. Just quoting face off there, sorry. I was thinking about that scene the other day. Oh, let's head off this way, see what we got. Hey, I see a treasure chest! Could it be something good? Let's find out. It's a small key! Oh yeah! Just for the locked door that we just saw in the other passageway. Sorry for making that take so long. So, uh, you can open this door. There seems to be a boss room of some kind in here. I don't know. Maybe something important. Let's have a look. What? I can't get through! I can't get through, man! Well, I'll throw the pot at it then. Oh, I can't get through. Wah, I, I got a key. Here, here's my key. Anybody? I'll trade you my key if you open these gates. Okay, well, no, you're not supposed to actually go that way. But that's the only way into the room, so... 
you could easily get confused here. Even now, I couldn't exactly tell you. Uh... Well... Yeah, obviously there's like another exit that's almost identically... Well... I I'm sure if you could zoom in far enough on the map, you could see that there was really two exits to the room there, or two entrances to that room, even though it looks like you just went in the one only way. And so, opening the gate would logically be the only way to get in there, but... No, it turns out you actually have to go around and go under, I think. I think you go under. Anyway, well, let's just find out, shall we? Yeah, you pretty much go into the water here, and, uh... Oh god, is this that room? No, this is something else. 